Hello guys, uh, let's talk about Easy Traffic Generator version 1.1 that will be released today or tomorrow at the Gum Road and Blender Market, right? Uh, this version it comes across with uh, some improvements. I bring it uh, some uh, changes on the UI, and now I think the tool is easier to use. It has more options. And it has some uh, very interesting options for who doesn't have a road system. And by the way, if you want to have a complete road system, more sophisticated, uh, with uh, more complete tools, uh, it will allow you to create different kinds of roads. I uh, just go in the link below. But here for the traffic generator, I'm going to show you. Let's go for the updates right away. Okay. This is the traffic system you all know. So you have a couple cars, you have your system, you can add your car. There's a, a video on my channel in which I show you how to add your own car to the system, right? And let's go to the changes. Uh, first change, I changed the name of uh, speed here. The modifier, the first uh, version has a name value and value it really doesn't make any sense and actually it was talking about the speed so that's the speed of the system right so right now it comes from frame 0 to frame 250 right it's animated but you can do whatever you want you can put like a thousand frames right uh, because that's how you control your speed here uh, if you want to increase your speed you just need to put uh, on the last frame, let's say now the speed is like this. You go to the frame you want. Let's delete this guy, delete this frame. So now there is no cars moving. So put in whatever frame you want, and like just go here and go. I don't know here. Insert the keyframe, and now you have your system like this, right? And you can control the speed like taking the frame, push it farther so it gets slower, or push it shorter, it gets faster, you know, or even delete and add another value here. Okay, let's bring it back. Let's keep this speed. Okay, speed is good. Okay, that's fine. So that was one of the things. The other thing is I changed the previous uh, plane because it was just a reference to see the cars, where the cars were placed. And I added a road. So now you guys can have a road here. Um, and the shaders of the road are good, are fine. It's beautiful. So you can see here, it's pretty much nice, okay? you also have the lights on and off so you can have your cars with the lights on and off like before the lanes still you can have one single lane or two single lanes and the roads just adapt right that was one of the things and also you can have just only roads so you have only your roads if you want to add your road if you want to edit your roads on uh, edit mode right let's say you have your roads done in your car but you want like in increase something or extend your sidewalk you know or even your road and you have the ability now to edit that you just i will just copy this guy up and remove the road for this guy leave it just the cars and the road below i will convert that into a mesh and now i can edit this as much as i can okay and the cars are still here preserved okay let's put a road back here delete this guy here and now let's show you the next change okay back in the days you didn't have a way of change the, the corner of your uh, round, the, 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 the radius of your corner, right? And all the curves was based on poly, 
right? But now I think that it was a bit limiting. Let me show you because let's say okay, it was like this before. It was like this. Okay. Let's see. Your modeling here is fine. Everything is fine. Okay. But you came across that you need to have these corners radials better or more extended or like shorter, right? So well, how you would do that in the previous version? Now you have a BZA mode for a curve or poly. You see, it changes a lot the way the curve is drawn, right? Busier, it's more uh, for people that want to draw the roads using some spline tools like draw, right? If you draw here, awesome. Busier, fine, right? But if you are using the poly system, you see how it becomes like this because you control your radius or the amount of divisions of your corner here, right? You can just leave it two divisions or, I don't know, or three divisions, you know? Let's leave it 10 and then you control the radius, the extension of the radius of your corner here, right? So that's, very, that's awesome for this kind of uh, situation, but for this kind of situation, not, not, too, not too good. So change it to busy, but also, I give you the, the, the chance to control the radio of your BZA. The radio now is zero because it's for those kind of drawing situations, right? But you can control the BZA radius as well, just here, okay? In these settings. I will leave it zero because it's the default. And let's bring it back our poly mode something like this let's reduce the corner to 20 20 is fine okay 20 is fine for what we want to have now in the in to show in the next let's delete this guy so ways of controlling your curve the way you draw the curve now is totally controllable low or not now is totally customizable here okay awesome that was one of the things the other thing is uh they still have the randomness working the same way, right? But now let's say you have a landscape here, okay? You have a landscape. Anyone to anyone to your roads like being uh, casting on top of this landscape. You want the roads to be projected on your landscape, okay? Let's say you want to have your roads coming all the way up and going down or something like this. When going up again, whatever you want. Okay. Now you can do that by saying, okay, project on and off. You can say project on. Okay. And uh, whatever you have. In any collection, you put it here, it will be projected on that. Now, this landscape is inside the road project, and the road projection is here. Okay, if you turn it on, bam, your road is automatically projected on top of your landscape. But you say, why here is not perfect? It's not perfect because the roads, the real road systems, they are project when they are built on the landscapes, the landscape has to adapt and has to flatten because the road cannot follow every bump of a landscape that's unrealistic so the roads kind of it's smoothly going up and down okay for this i've created as as soon as you turn it on the projection the road creates on each side a uh, mesh that is just just to fulfill the gaps between the road and the terrain right and you have two options here to control that, right? The Z, the adjustment on Z for a road, right? And the adjustment, the adjustment of uh, on Z as well, just for the side, uh, just for the complement on the side. Okay, that's very useful, and I will show you why it's very useful. 
okay? But right now, let's model it correct. Let's model the root correctly, okay? What I mean correctly? Because there's lots of bumps on this projection. The roads needs to be always above the landscape, never below the landscape. And you have to have, uh, your points has to be kind of more or less on each place there's a bump on uh, that there's a bump that makes difference let's say you keep modeling right and if you feel that the landscape took over you just stop it here and do another extrude right and keep going like this okay something like that and you will be just fine let's make the road do does this or this maybe okay okay let's do this okay okay awesome okay something like that let's do something more radical here do something like this something like this okay oh, oh my goodness something like this okay Okay. This, uh, uh, um. okay, maybe bring the rope here, okay, awesome, all right, look at this, we have a very good projection, almost no issues, there is an issue here, right, and we are gonna use the tools to fix that. What tools? Z first. Let's bring our roads like in a place that there is no landscape coming through. Okay. But right now we have a couple gaps going on. Which are the gaps? Let's see. Oh, we can tell a couple gaps. So for filling up the gaps, we just improve this, increase that thing, and then we make sure that it covers everything. All right, all right. So it seems that the road now is nice. Okay, and let's say you want to make this more rounded. Okay. You can always go here to your polygon rad radius and change it, right? And try to make it more rounded. But you see in some areas which have uh, the the vertices will be overpassing other vertices, so you would have those issues here, right? So why not in this case? Why not changing to busier? And let's see how it works you see it works now much better than before right so now we have much better smooth roads going on all over the place and the traffic system will be just there fine okay and let's say okay now I got that projected I want to make this guy have the same material as a landscape the side part of the road okay we first we can duplicate this shift D and uh, we and the duplicated one we can like leave it just remove the roads we remove the roads right and then we take the roads and we leave it only roads right so now we have only the roads, we can convert it to mesh. Convert it into mesh, now everything is editable. So there is no system here attached here anymore. So select one part, select the other part, delete it, right? And attach it to the landscape, Ctrl G, right? So now we have a bunch of materials, let's remove all of that. 
leave it just one single material let's fix the issue here to have all the corners in the same orientation out and flip so all good now all good okay now if we render we will see how it goes here we go that's our landscaping hey guys let me know if that's useful and you know why the shader here look like this is blending that's a trick that's a tip I'm gonna give you this tip right in this landscape material or whatever material you are gonna apply just use bevel shader if the, if the meshes are the same uh, the bevel will kind of combine both if you take it off you see how it looks look at this well very divided right but if you connect here it looks like that everything is blended but it's just one illusion okay if you put this uh you know your five you get even more the illusion that the landscape just combines okay you see it seems that the landscape is combining to each other right look at that even better and now you can do anything with your system you can go here and, improve, and increase the number of cars right and your system will be kind of going just fine right look at this awesome traffic system okay if your traffic starts uh, slow and then it goes increase the speed because the vectors here as a, is, this is a default blender animation like it creates the the vector is it's a busy curve you just go here and instead of having them uh, aligned that was how blender creates you just put it vector so it starts in one speed and just keeps going okay and that's it i hope you guys like it this update uh, and give it me feedback and give it me image or animations from your work and i wish i can see what you guys are doing with this tool i personally love this tool and i will be working to improve that even more and more to you in terms of usability and uh, systems for the world in itself and all the things okay see you soon take it easy